What's up guys? If you don't see a clip after this, that means Veronica's erratic and crazy driving has killed every single one of us. <sighs> you are crazy, you're, you're a crazy driver. Please be calm, be calm your arms on the wheel. Look you guys, Veronica's wearing shorts. Those legs. Oh, I just love her legs. Mm. We're on our way to the doctor's office. The doctor's office today is going to provide us the results of the procedure that Veronica recently had. You remember, we went to the hospital, she had to go under the knife. Uh, you can't pull in there. You see that red, you see that yellow tape? Heck? You could have just drove over it actually. I mean, after all, it is just plastic. We have actually the kids with us today and um, they're about as informed as you are. Uh, and to be honest, <laughs> you probably know a little bit more than they do. So, <clears throat> without saying too much, let's just uh, get through the results first. See how it goes. How are you feeling? What's your thoughts? I'm just ready to figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I got you. Is that fun, Liza? Oh. oh so we left the doctor's office, and uh, we'll talk about My the results we found out a little later. But first, we had to stop and get lunch. Check out the size of this burger. It's like as big as my fist. It's huge. And I got chicken fries down there. Yeah? Yeah. Like oh yeah. It's always fun taking these guys out in public. See ya. She's the best one. Liza, you're such a good baby. You're the best well-behaved kid we've got. <laughs> so we came to Walmart. Um, while we're out, we gotta do school supplies. Even though it's something we don't wanna come to terms with, the kids have school. And we gotta go get your stuff and your stuff. Carson, do you know what you need? What? For school? Yeah. Well, what? You need pants? You don't know. I'm just hanging out with this little girl while they're doing their Dad. school shopping. She's having so much fun. I've never put her in the car like this before. Dad. Yeah, is this is fun. Dad, look at this. This is a piece of paper. I had to get a five folder. of them. I had to get five of them. It's a new one. It's a red folder. What? I I had to get five of them things. Yeah? Yeah. So Veronica just came back from the gym. Good work. I had to get the vlog done. The vlog's going. Now I'm about to go to the gym. I love you. I'll be back. Today's a tough day, guys. I was gonna go, I was gonna vlog today's workout, but I don't really feel like it. I think I'll just leave you guys in the car. And when we get, when I get home, um, me and Veronica are gonna tell you exactly what's going on. I know when we had the other surgery, when she had the other surgery two weeks ago, we didn't really give you much. Um, but I think now that we know we know everything, we can kind of fill you guys in. My lovely wife made spaghetti. It smells beautiful, honey. She already made my bowl for me. 
That is, that is awesomeness. It's is like it a good? It's like a chocolate mountain. It's like a chocolate mountain? There's no chocolate. Nope, no chocolate here. Just spaghetti noodles and sauce and meat and a little bit of cheese. Okay guys. You remember two weeks ago Veronica had a procedure. Uh, a surgical procedure to basically take a biopsy of part of Veronica's cervix to determine whether or not this um, inconsistency is to be treated like cancer. It's been a long two weeks, let's just say that. And today, as you know, we went to the doctor and we got the results of that procedure. So the test results came back bigger than what was expected and <laughs> definitely hard to talk about uh, especially with a severe situation, a really severe situation as this is. Um, but we're lighthearted people and we try to make light of really si serious situations. The test results came back that although Veronica doesn't conclusively have cancer, the doctor suggested that more than likely, um, a 10% chance that if nothing is done this could turn into cancer. The options were to have a pap every three months checked every three months until it was basically waiting to find out if it's cancer or go ahead and have a hysterectomy. If you don't know what a hysterectomy is Practically, most of the female reproductive system is extracted, and that means no more babies. But on the positive side, we have three of the most wonderful babies on the planet, and we couldn't be more happy with, I mean, a family of five. If we were to have more kids, regardless of this situation, uh, Veronica is a high-risk pregnancy. And if we did get pregnant again, the baby would have to come out at 30, Six. 30, 36, 36 weeks. Um, and that's not full term. You yeah. just had a, lot, a loss of, for words. I mean, I'm okay with the situation and what has to be done it's just hard with the decision to have the hysterectomy the doctor is confident that removing the female reproductive system leaving the ovaries and fallopian tubes to continue to produce the hormones that she needs to be feminine and not grow a full <laughs> man beard um, is the best case <laughs> And if the hysterectomy happens, which it's been scheduled, um, he's 99, it's a 99% cure. So come late September, Veronica will have surgery to have a hysterectomy and um, we'll deal with it as positive and... <laughs> Hopeful be, as we can. It'll be fine. I'll just be laid up for a while again. Yeah. Which sucks. I told her today that it's okay, you can be laid up because I take really good care of you. You do. <laughs> Wait, let this be a lesson to all of the females out there. Um, you know, age appropriate to have regular checkups when you're supposed to, because this is a preventative um, 
action that is being taken so that, you know, it doesn't turn into cancer. So you go for your regular checkups and get checked up. Make sure everything's okay. So right. that when it does, if it does turn abnormal, then you know and you can get it on the preventative stage. The doctor even said that it's it's good that she's been in. You know, she's had regular pap smears forever. Um, and, you know, they've, they've closely monitored. So, like, as long as you have a medical history that they can track and understand, you know, like, how your body is functioning and progressing, then you're more likely to be able to have an early diagnosis and get it taken care of as confidently as the doctor feels in Veronica's situation. So, although it's very scary and it sucks really bad to even hear that word, um, the doctor is really confident. I mean, 99% is a pretty good number, um, you know, but we definitely appreciate everyone's support and well wishes even before you knew exactly what was going on. Everyone's been super supportive and um and we truly thank you guys for that seriously yeah so we're in this together um we're gonna be just fine yeah it'll be fine we'll get through this and um we'll just keep pumping out these awesome family videos for you guys to love and enjoy Unfortunately, we won't be adding any more children to the uh, to the channel. <laughs> but a puppy? Maybe a puppy? A puppy? There's always room for puppies and kitties. <laughs> if you want a puppy. <laughs> That's kind of where we're at, and that will be the end of today's video. I hate to leave you guys like this, but I, I mean, <laughs> where do you go? Where do you go from here? Thank you guys for listening. Um, of course, thank you always for watching. And we can't wait to see you right back here. Tomorrow. Yeah.